This video will give you a brief overview of how to set up and use your Optoma Pico projector. The very first thing you must do is charge the battery completely before using it for the first time. Open the battery compartment on the underside of the projector. Line up the battery contacts and push the battery into place. Then replace the cover. Plug the power adapter into a wall outlet and connect the adapter cord to your projector. An orange light will show on the top of the projector to indicate it is charging. This will turn green once the battery has been fully charged. Charging may take up to two and a half hours. It's important to make sure that the projector is turned off as the battery will not charge while the projector is operating. The first time you power up the projector, the language setting screen will appear. Use the arrow keys on the top of the projector to navigate to the desired language and press the circle button to select it. You can navigate your way around the projector's menus by using the buttons on the top of the projector or with the remote control provided. Pressing the square button always brings you back to the home menu. A button guide appears on the lower left of most screens. The guide varies depending on the current mode. To view and display photographs, for example, from the home screen, press the X button, which corresponds to the photo menu. If necessary, select the data source, in other words, the internal memory or micro SD card, by pressing the left arrow button. Using the arrow keys, navigate to the folder or picture you wish to view. Press the circle button to open and display the photograph. We suggest you explore all the menus and buttons to familiarize yourself with the projector's features and options. You can transfer data directly to the internal memory of the projector by connecting it to your computer. Using the USB cable supplied, attach the large USB connector to your computer device. Then attach the other end to your projector. Turn on the projector by pressing the power button located on the side. A screen will appear asking if you wish to switch to data transfer mode. Press the circle button to say yes. Using Windows File Explorer, select the files you wish to transfer. Right click on them and choose copy. Locate the new projector drive called PK320 and select it. Right click the folder and choose Paste. Your files will now transfer. The Pico projector comes with 1 GB of internal memory as standard. However, memory storage can be expanded with the addition of a micro SD card. To add a micro SD card, peel back the protection cover on the side of the projector. With the gold contacts facing down, insert the micro SD card into the slot. Push the card into the slot until it clicks into place. To remove it at any time, simply push and release the card to eject it from the slot. The Pico projector reads many file formats such as video, audio, images, PDFs and Microsoft Office files in Word, PowerPoint and Excel format. To display a PowerPoint document for example, from the home menu, Press the down arrow to go to the Office Viewer menu. Use the up and down arrows to select the file you wish to view. Press the circle button to open the selected document. You can then step through the slides by pressing the up and down arrow buttons. Again, we recommend you experiment and explore to familiarize yourself with the full range of navigation options available. One particularly useful feature is that you can capture photos to the micro SD card in your smartphone, then simply move the micro SD card to your projector to select and show these photos. As well as displaying files from the internal memory or micro SD card, you can also display files and documents live from your computer device. Setting this up is easy. Locate the VGA cable that came with your projector. Attach the universal connector with arrow facing up to the socket labeled Universal I.O. on the back of your projector. Now attach the VGA connector to the output on your computer. Turn on the projector. 
and it should automatically detect the input source. Press the circle key to select it. If you are using a Microsoft Surface or other device without a VGA output, you will need to obtain an optional VGA to HDMI adapter. Attach the adapter to the VGA cable that came with your projector. Attach the universal connector with the arrow facing up to the socket labeled Universal I.O. on the back of your projector. Now attach the HDMI connector to the HDMI output on your surface. The projector can be placed on a flat surface or table when in use, or better yet, mounted on an optional tripod for easy adjustment. When using the projector for group presentations, it's a good idea to connect an external speaker using the audio out socket on the back of the projector. Once this has all been set up, anything you do on your computer can be displayed via the projector. Present streaming media such as videos from YouTube. Connect with other schools or students live using Skype or Microsoft Link. Display Facebook pages. Show lessons or student presentations. With additional accessories, you can even connect your projector to DVD players, smartphones, tablets, or almost anything that has a video output. For full details on how to use the Pico projector, please see the user manual, which you can retrieve from the device itself. To do this, connect your projector to your computer using the USB cable provided. A screen will appear asking if you wish to switch to data transfer mode. Press the circle button to say yes. On your computer, locate the projector drive called PK320. Open the folder called User Manual. Copy the user manual to a location on your computer so you can access it any time you wish. The Pico Projector is ideal for anytime, anywhere learning.